Guys, we're going to do something a little bit different this week. Uh, we normally do our shipping video at this time, but uh, because of our production run, we don't have that many custom guitars coming through. So uh, what we decided we'd do this week is have a focus on the Virtuo. So we've been recording some content over the last week with the Virtuo, uh, myself and Davey, just telling that story. And uh, that indeed is going to be coming out on Monday. Uh, just telling the story of the Virtuo and the inspiration behind it. But what I want to do today is, uh, is just go through the different virtual guitars that we currently have in our stock, uh, tell you a little bit about the best way to order one, what it's all about, and, uh, and some info about the, the virtual. So we've been getting some fantastic reviews on the virtual. We've been, over the last couple of years, sending them out to some of the influencers and YouTubers and reviewers online, and we've been blown away by the reactions we've been getting. So what exactly is the Emerald Virtuo? It's, it's so good. Is it a carbon fiber acoustic guitar? Well, yes. So good. Is it an electric guitar? Absolutely. It feels amazing. How about a guitar synth? Well, you bet. And that really just scratches the surface. Indeed, the Virtuo has become the best selling guitar or very, very close. It flip-flops back and forward each month between the X20 and the Virtuo, but uh, it's become a phenomenal success in the Emerald Guitars lineup, and for very good reason. And if I just grab one down here, we can talk through it. And really, you know, what you're gonna see uh, if you watch some of the online reviews is people talking about the vers versatility of this guitar. And um, it starts off really as an acoustic instrument, you know, as everything we do here at Emerald Guitars, we build carbon fiber acoustic instruments. That's our speciality, that's what we know best, and this is no different. But what we've done is we've given this an acoustic guitar with an electric soul. You know, we talk about it, the acoustic guitar with the electric soul, um, our acoustic body and electric soul. So uh, it's got a, um, the carbon fiber acoustic body, in, exactly the same as our X10 Slimline. And uh, these really, really nice proportions that acoustically has a really nice projection and warmth to it as well. But what we've done here is we've added the Fishman Fluence humbuckers. And uh, the Fishman Fluence are just a really uh, perfect accompaniment to our guitars. It's a, it's a very modern way that Fishman create these uh, humbuckers, a very consistent, uh, very high quality humbucker. But what I love about them is the way they do the switching. It's uh, very simple and very discreet to give you three distinct voices from these two humbuckers. So, uh, so in standard form, uh, you've got like a nice classic humbucker form, uh, humbucker sound. Uh, pull up this little push pull on the volume control, and uh, that gives you like more kind of hotter overwound sound. And pull this one up, and you get single coils. So uh, very very easy to select various different um, tones out of your humbuckers. But what I love is then blending that with the piezo sound. So we've got the GraphTech piezo bridge here and uh, a volume control for that. And that allows you to be able to blend the piezo and, and uh, magnetic sounds. So you can seamlessly go back and forward between them with a little three-way switch. But if you put it in the middle, it gives you both pickups together. And uh, that's really cool if you want to just add some extra warmth and dynamics into your electric sounds or vice versa. So, uh, so you can really, really um, shape either your acoustic sounds or your uh, electric sounds with that. We've also got 13 pin MIDI, so you can connect this into something like a, a, a Roland uh, GR55 or something like that and then get unlimited sounds. But what I really like to do with that is not just replace the sounds of the, the, the standard pickups with MIDI, but blend them together. So, uh, so you can just blend that in with the volume control here for the MIDI. So, uh, so you know, you really can start and blend a lot of different sounds together. Uh, you can also separate out the the different outputs from it. You're going to have your 13 pin going out with your MIDI sounds, and if you put a stereo cable in here, it splits out both your piezos and your humbuckers. So, uh, so really, it is so versatile when it comes to. Um, creating different tonal opportunities from this guitar. Super controlled sound, great response. It's super comfortable to play with super low action. So there's so much you can do with this guitar. It's it's incredible. It sounds like a great electric guitar. Blowing my mind, really comfortable, light, heavy duty. And of course these Fishman Fluence pickups are insanely <laughs> versatile. 
versatile, versatile, versatile guitar. This is a really, really fun instrument. I like it when people do things different. I mean, there was a ton of R&D, obviously, that went into building this guitar. It's forward thinking, it's outside of the box. It's one of those scary things where it's like a guitar to end all guitars. But the other thing on top of that that we really love is the fact that uh, we've given this a fully adjustable bridge on an acoustic instrument. And uh, that allows you to easily change between uh, electric strings and um, acoustic strings. And, uh, and we have a, a set of acoustic strings that we recommend for this that work really well with the Fishman Fluence, uh, the, uh, the new tone double wound strings. And uh, whenever you put the acoustic strings on here, you get a, a, a lot more warmth, uh, a more, much fuller acoustic sound. So it really depends on what you want. And, uh, and we've just recently done a video that kind of uh, tells you the differences between that. So, uh, so that is the, the Virtuo in, uh, in a nutshell. Um, it's got that really nice ergonomic body, the deep neck access here, a really nice slim neck profile that, uh, that is really fast and super easy to play. And uh, just overall, it's, a, it's become such a fantastic guitar. And really, the, the thing about the Virtuo is uh, it's just using it as a creative tool. You know, we talk here at Emerald Guitars all the time about um, uh, our, our whole uh, being is to make and inspire music. And, uh, and that guitar is, it does exactly that. It, uh, it, it gives you freedom to play sounds that you may not be able to do on your other guitars. And uh, many people have told us how it's inspired them to play new music and, uh, and give them freedom to get uh, to, to play new music. So that's something personally that I really, really love. But I want to have a look at the different uh, ones that we currently have in stock. Uh, we always carry a really good range of Virtuos in our stock. Um, but the ultimate place if you want to design a Virtuo is to go into our 3D Builder. Uh, you can go in there and you can choose your veneers, uh, your colors, the uh, hardware options inlays, uh, various different things in there that you can customize it exactly to your, to your own needs. And, uh, and you can get that shipped directly to you in around about two months, made exactly to your specifications. But, you know, if you like to just uh, buy something off the shelf, get that instant gratification, then I'm gonna talk you through the ones that we currently have available. So, uh, so the first one on the lineup is, uh, is Redwood Burl, and uh, wonderful details in this Redwood Burl. And while you can see all these guitars in photographs on the website, I think there's something about video, seeing it in, uh, in somebody's hands, and uh, with the movement of the light, it just lets you see it a little bit better. So, uh, Redwood Burl, black hardware and an amber back and sides. Then how about this? If you like that really nice vintage classic look, uh, this has been very popular in the Virtuo. It's, uh, it's Quilt of Maple with a uh, vintage amber burst, gold hardware. Uh, it's a really, really nice color combination and then an amber back and sides. This is quite a unique one. I uh, really like the color combinations here. So we have bird's eye maple that's been dyed black. And uh, so you get a really nice color combination between the blacks and the silvers that come through. Uh, works beautifully with the black carbon bridge here. We've got chrome hardware on this. We've got the silver vines on the fretboard. And uh, this is a little subtle detail that gives away what is on the back and sides of this. So, uh, so we've got the infinity knot in uh, teal a vibrant teal back and sides. So I think those color combinations actually really work well together. So then if uh, you prefer just the carbon look, then uh, we've got this uh, vibrant green and um, really nice Irish combination here uh, of the green and gold. So gold hardware, 
vibrant green and uh, then the gold rings on the fretboard and vibrant green back and sides. This is Tamo Ash and uh, Tamo Ash it kind of has a lot of the characteristics of quilted maple um, but uh, but its own unique feel so beautiful quilting going on, on it really nice colors here with the black hardware and then a black carbon back and sides so if you want to really make a statement if you want to really stand out then how about vibrant pink uh, I actually personally love this I think uh, when we first talked about it I wasn't so sure but seeing it finished, I absolutely love the vibrant pink. I think it's such a wonderful color. And uh, silver rings on the fretboard. Then how about some green carbon? If you like the carbon colors, uh, this is our, our black carbon with the transparent green over the top. So it's a really nice, dark, uh, rich, subtle green. And, uh, and the green carbon on the back and sides uh, works very nice with the, the, uh, the black hardware. So red, red's probably been the most popular color that we've done uh, in a Virtue. Uh, here it's uh, red flame maple and um, looks wonderful a transparent red over the flame maple and uh, black hardware and then we've got a vibrant red back and sides and um, if you haven't already seen the review that justin johnson did uh, his was a red uh, royal ebony and uh, just an amazing virtual that he has and he did a wonderful review back a couple of years ago all right, this is the brand new Virtuo model from Emerald Guitars, and this is kind of like their new flagship model. This guitar is basically designed to do pretty much everything that all of their guitars combined can do. It can sound like an electric, it sounds like an electric single coil, humbucker, it has piezo pickups in it. It even has a MIDI pickup on it, so you can plug it into a MIDI system. In addition to that, it is just beautiful. I mean, look at this thing. It's got this beautiful wood veneer on top that is not only a great veneer, but it is uh, stained and the, just bring the black out, the, the red stain on it, the gloss, the high gloss finish, this kind of dark uh, sunburst, sort of like a vignette around the sides. It's so tasteful. Vibrant teal, and uh, we should look at these two together because the vibrant colors look so, so nice. But uh, I love the, the bright colors in this. Um, vibrant teal with chrome hardware and if you're trying to decide if you're on the, the custom builder uh, trying to decide by hardware I mean it is such a difficult choice but has such a, a big impact um, I love chrome because it tends to to take on the reflections and the colors around it so if you want all the focus to go just on the um, on the color of the instrument I think chrome is always a good choice uh, it can kind of becomes almost neutral on there um, so uh, yeah, the chrome is really good on this one, and uh, that vibrant amber back or vibrant teal back and sides. And I love the pattern on this one. This is Kibazinga, and um, yeah, if you just uh, check out the patterns and the colors, got a really nice warm, rich color, really nice wood grain pattern going on there. Black hardware, it's a great choice on that one, and. Uh, amber back and sides. So last two that we currently have on the, the lineup is black carbon. So if you like to stick with the more traditional black carbon look, and uh, this has got that really nice holographic effect that you get from the black carbon, uh, black hardware and uh, silver dots on the fretboard, black carbon back and sides. A 
And the last one. See, I, I really like black carbon whenever you take it uh, a little bit further. Black and gold work really well together. So black carbon, gold hardware, and uh, the gold inlays, the gold vines running up the fretboard. So, uh, so that's a really beautiful Virtuo. So pretty much whatever, um, you know, whatever your, your color options are, if you like the more traditional uh, vintage ambers or the vibrant pinks, or, you know, we've got quite a range always in stock. Quite a few more always coming through, so, uh, so check our stock regularly. You're gonna be able to see more of those as they come through all the time. But, um, but yeah, if you're considering a Virtuo, uh, if you're looking for a really versatile instrument, then, uh, then I think the Virtuo is something that everybody needs in their, in their arsenal. Uh, really great recording tool. If you're walking into a recording studio, just to give you access to so many tones, it works wonderfully. If you're a solo musician who, uh, you know, maybe playing covers and you're going between different genres, works absolutely fantastic for that. So if you've got any questions about the Virtuo, make sure and get in touch with our sales guys. Kev and Davey both play Virtuo, love them, and uh, can give you very educated information about it if you've got any questions. So get in touch with them by email at sales at emeraldguitars.com or call us directly. You can find our number on the website and uh, we'll be happy to help you out in any way we can. So have a great weekend. Talk to you again soon. Let's say you uh, want to dig in as the song gets a little more intense into humbucker mode. Let's say it gets uh, time for that lead guitar solo, you pull it into hot rod mode, and now you got that screaming kind of lead tone.